choosing Jesus or Barabbas? Are you still, are you choosing Jesus or are you choosing Barabbas? I'm going to probably do that in the morning. Might do that in the morning. I don't know what kind of revelation my God might put in me. I don't know. But I'm planning on doing that message. But God gave me this right here when I was meditating on that. And it says the top, and this is very important right here. Uh, the topic of this message is called the reality is reality of are you in the crowd? Woo! Wow. I, I know you probably didn't say woo wow. I don't know. I don't know if you heard me. But it's called are you in the crowd? Uh, what are we talking about? We talking about resurrection day. And on, well, well, here's the thing. The, the, the events that precede resurrection. I want to talk about it, but it says, I'm talking about, are you in the crowd? As we know, there was, it was Passover. It was Passover, or uh, 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 well, proceeding Passover. Passover, oh yeah, I forgot to say, Passover is not one day, but Passover is really eight days, you know what I'm saying? Eight days is Passover, you know? But, uh, you know, that's what it is. Hello, how you doing? Have a wonderful day. Uh, Passover is eight days. But uh, the topic of this is, you know what I'm saying, that they was gathered, uh, maybe thousands of gathered, you know, in a situation concerning Jesus, you know, uh, and, and Barabbas, you know. But the thing is, there was a crowd that unfortunately was led more about more by the religious authority. Ah, you know? oh, do we have that pattern going on today? You know what I'm saying? It's the crowd led by the religious authority. Ah, uh, right now. Well, well, anyway. So they were, you know, telling the, you know, Pilate, you know, and at the Passover, they can select one person to be set free and one person, of course, to be punished. And of course, we know that they pick uh, Barabbas to be set free and Jesus to be well, pretty much he was supposed to be arrested, but the religious authorities encourage the people to say crucify. Yes, interesting how religion will do such a thing. Yeah, but anyway, they encourage Jesus to uh, say cru crucify him. We want him crucified. And and the thing is, the, but the question I want you to ask yourself to be real, because here's the thing, like I said, Jesus said there shall be many, you know, that will say that I am Christ and deceive many. You know what I'm saying? There shall be a, a many sh shall come in my name and deceive Christ and to say I am Christ and deceive many. There should be many people doing this, you know? And the thing is, is that situation going on right now, you know? Uh, situation going on right now. It's with people, hey, oh girl, don't even, oh snap. No, you didn't. Oh, that Megan. She need to stop just running to making while I'm ministering. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. I get that so many times. Well, the thing is, um, are we busy? Are we, what, what are we, you know what I'm saying? The, the, are we spiritually? I'm talking in the spirit. I hope you understand. I speak the language of the spirit. 
you know? I speak the language of the spirit, you know? Are we crucifying? Are we, are we in a crowd right now in a present time saying crucify Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> are we in this crowd uh, of many people? Now, interesting, as you see in uh, uh, you know, the Passion of Christ and other Jesus movies, that uh, John is there and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Martha is there, you know what I'm saying? And I believe they were for Jesus Christ. There, there was only a few for Jesus Christ, you know? I mean, I mean, we talking about like people we can count on our hand. We talking about people that we can count on our hand and say, oh, these people are for Jesus Christ. But we're talking about like thousands of people probably, you know, there saying crucify him, crucify him. You know, Jesus said, broad is the gate. Many shall go, many shall go, you know, and you know, nobody's not, I, don't, I mean, it's not a, enough people to me are not respecting that broad gate, you know, respecting the ideal of the broad gate, that they're not observing the world we live in and seeing that broad is, Jesus is right, broad is the gate, many are going a wrong direction in the world and in the ideal of the church system many are going the wrong direction as you know that paul said there shall come a time men will not endure sound doctrine they shall heap themselves the teachers of itchy ears you know that will believe fables and not the truth and peter said in first peter 4 and 16 that talks about I mean, a uh, 17 that there shall come a time when, you know, uh, that judgment must come. Either it comes to us. He's talking about the church concerning about those that do not obey the gospel. I'm paraphrasing that those that do not obey the gospel of God. That's what Peter said. You know what I'm saying? There shall come a time of judgment. And the thing is, you know, uh, G, the scenario is there for us to supposed to be questioning the crowd that we're in the the church crowd that we're in you know what I'm saying Christians we are surrounded by you know what I'm saying what is their idea viewpoint of the gospel of Jesus Christ are they following according to the word of God you know what I'm saying are uh, am I following a system that is about, you know, producing the outcome of the true gospel of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, look, this church system is clearly all about division. You know what I'm saying? They're about denominations, you know, and, you know, they're all about denominations, about division. You know, they're all about a divided viewpoint of what the word of God is, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, what people need to understand, hello, how y'all doing? Y'all have a wonderful day. You mm too, -hmm. um, you too. Uh, about a divided uh, scenario, they're not trying to work together, you know? All things work together for them that love God, you know what I'm saying? They, are they trying to work together to help the community to get better? You know what I'm saying? Are, but they stay divided on their doctrine concerning uh, Baptist and Methodist and Catholic and Method Presbyterian, whatever you got them out there. You know what I'm saying? This is the scenario that is going on today. This is where the crowd, a, a crowd of people, a whole lot of crowd of people are believing this ideal of the church system that is operating in tradition. You know what I'm saying? Tradition is what the system of how the gospel is more manifested. And Jesus said in Mark 7 and 13, making the commandment of God none effect through the, your own tradition. Through your own tradition, you're not affecting people with the gospel as how they should be affected. That's in Mark 7, 13. 
Check it out. But the thing is, and Jesus said that he talks about the uh, 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 wine, the new wine. You know what I'm saying? Can you put new wine in old bottles? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to check that out. New wine in old bottles. You know what I'm saying? And he, the scenario he's saying in that, that you're supposed to, you're supposed to use new bottles to store new wine. If you put new wines in old bottles, it will leak out. You know what I'm saying? The wine, the new wine will leak out. And he said old bottles. So he must be, is talking about an old idea. You know what I'm saying? Concerning tradition. Um, yes, Jesus, the scenario is put out there. And guess what? There is many that follow tradition and many are doing a lot of, there's a huge crowd here. I hope I'm presenting the idea. There's a huge crowd of people that are following this idea. You know what I'm saying? So the question is, are you following the crowd? And of course, there's of course a uh, false doctrine out there, like crazy. The stuff I hear people, Christians talk about and have an ideal and believe that is contrary to scripture it's crazy that the Bible says that it will happen. See, the Bible has, that's what I love about the Bible. The Bible has already forewarned us concerning the things that are going to happen. You know what I'm saying? There's no, you know, maybe this is, I mean, we're like questioning. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, everybody likes, I'm not sure what's going on, what's going on. No. The Bible says this, and the Bible says that. It is written that this is going to happen, this is going to be like this, and we're not supposed to do this, but we're supposed to do that, is what the Bible has, you know, in there, in the context of it, that makes it, to me, awesome, that I can make videos to just use the Word of God and let the Word of God speak for itself, and, and for those that have eyes to see and ears to hear, to uh be about receiving what what i'm saying but there is a crowd out there and here's the thing about the crowd you know like i talked about this morning jesus is the word of god and the thing is are we saying crucify the word of god crucify the word of god kill the word of god kill the word of god by following the crowd yeah it's the crowd saying crucify the word of God not follow what the word of God is not follow the ideal of Ephesians 4 of uh, the unity of the uh, spirit and the unity of the faith that we're supposed to be operating unity and not division don't follow the word of God you know are we are in the crowd or are we the few are we the John are we the mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Mary Magdalene, are we the few that says we're for Jesus Christ? You know what I'm saying? The three that, I think it's three or four, I think it was more than people, uh, uh, four or something, three or four, but the few that was for Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, that uh, Jesus told John to take his mother away. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Are, are we for the purpose of Jesus Christ that his purpose concerning the gospel of Jesus Christ will be fulfilled concerning the truth how you doing how wonderful that uh, concerning the truth are we for that or are we yelling at the Word of God and saying crucify and crucify and crucify it's what I'm all about presenting to those that truly want to be about the straight and narrow the faithful few that is all about the truth. You know what I'm saying? That I hope this message can resonate to you and question your viewpoint about church and your viewpoint about your, you being a Christian and your relationship with God and what you all about following and, and the ministers that minister to you. Are they teaching you truth to that you follow? Are they teaching you correction? Are they just telling you you can receive more blessings and say that I'm this and I'm that and all kind of stuff going on out there but that's the message i hope you question and evaluate this idea if you truly want to be about the faithful few that's all about the truth that's the message god be glory him forever and ever and ever amen and be out of the crowd get out of the crowd
get out.